Howdy guys, welcome back. I just want to do a little segment here and show you oh, the types of bar that I run on my chainsaw and tell you a little bit why I do it. And uh, well, let's just jump right into it. We got two bars here and I've ran both styles of these bars a lot. This is your Olmatic ES and this is just your E, which are obviously the difference here. You can see this is a replaceable tip. This is not. And if you get in close here, you can see these right here. And this is a laminated bar. And this is, I guess, a solid piece right here with your groove cut out in it. Which, you know, I hear a lot of people talking about how much more rigid this bar is and how much more heavy duty it is. But, I don't know. After running them for years now, both styles, I really can't tell a difference in the rigidity or the overall lasting of either one being any different than the other. I mean, these days, it's not very common that I ever throw a tip out on one of these bars. So that alone kind of negates the point that I would need a replaceable tip because usually by the time anything happens to the, the roller out here, most of the time your bar is probably shot anyway. And you know, it's just uh, something that I don't like to waste my money on. But I was also looking today at looking into a lightweight bar and seeing how much, you know, how much lighter they really are. And it, oh, from what I read and what the guy at the steel dealership told me, they claim to be 30% lighter than the steel ES bar which I understand this, you know, this bar here is a hollow core in here, which should make it lighter. But if you go 30% lighter on one of these, as we're gonna see here, we're gonna get this little scale out, clear it off, hook this in there, pick this bar up, and it weighs 2.94. That's our E bar. We'll go clear this back off. We'll hook this one on there and we're at 3.64 so we're over a half a pound of difference between these two bars so you know right there you're almost well heck you're within less than half a pound over a quarter somewhere in between there so pound difference between this bar and the light bar which is well heck it's probably close to a hundred dollars more expensive than this bar so for a hundred dollars more i cannot justify buying what is dubbed as the lightweight bar you know like i guess i'm just a cheapskate and i i look for a good bargain and well i think that in my opinion this bar right here is probably the best bargain you're gonna get because like I said, a lot of people are like, ah, the other one's way more rigid and stuff. But if you get into a problem where you're I don't know, prying side to side with your bar and you end up bending either one of them, I can't say as I've ever felt any kind of difference in how hard it is that I got to pry side to side to bend one. And if you're unlucky enough to where you get hung up in a tree and it rolls over on it, I don't know. Every time, both of them seem to bend about the same. They burn in, bend into an L shape and you're left with what you got. It's pretty much junk after that. Hard to get it straight. You get wear, bar, wear and burn marks on your bar, even if you do get it mostly straight, but it's pretty much a goner after that. But I just wanted to, I don't know, make a video about these two bars and kind of tell you what I found to be the differences and why I run what I run. Uh, I guess, like I said, the main reason being I'm a cheapskate and this bar is lighter than the other bar and cheaper and you're it's just an all-around good value i i think the longevity is almost exactly the same but i'm done with my rant here and uh let you guys judge for yourself but i just want to tell you a little bit about what i run on my soles and why i run them till next time thanks a lot guys